Welcome back to Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here working on one of the Space Marines' Thunderhawks. I was personally just trying to figure out how exactly my uh, scaffolding had shrunk down to only two stories. I'm trying to figure out if there was a button to extend it or something. And then I realized that this job is just so big they gave me more than one scaffolding. Huh. Go figure. Uh, shout out to Elthwar, who says, Money in the, Imp in the Imperium is vague, since most of the protagonists don't need to think about it. Space Marines, Inquisitors, and Imperial Guard Commanders just receive what they demand, not to mention the military forces intend not to purchase much on their own. It's all assigned. The assumption seems to be that most currencies are local to a planet, though one named Thrones is popular in the fandom and is used in the Dark Heresy RPG. But even then, several others, including Crowns, Credits, and Aquilas, are mentioned. As for the others, the other factions, the Orcs have the most explained system of currency, Teeth, which are teeth taken from other Orcs and then used as cash. I've heard of that. Uh, you know, they have the whole thing about how colors represent different things to the Orcs, like, uh... I think it's red vehicles go inherently go faster. Well, yellow represents wealth. But it's not because of gold, which is a mineral they find totally worthless. It's because that's the natural hue of their teeth, yellow. Ugh. Um, the Tau presumably are collectivist and do not use money directly. The Eldar and Necrons are probably a mixture of post-scarcity, social credit, and bargaining with goods. And the Dark Eldar seem to use slaves and souls to pay taxes, which is likely just the same thing Chaos also uses. Um, oh yes, and uh, also Elthwar mentions uh, elsewhere, it would have been very nice to allow the knight or the scaffolding to, ro to rotate around it for cleaning, but alas, the tra instructions to those functions were lost many years ago in a tragic candle accident. And then adds, 40k really is built off of the rule of cool. I like a quote from Rogue7 of the GITB forum to summarize the setting. See. If you take the 40k universe too seriously, you're really missing the point. Sure, you can take it at face value and see the dystopian galaxy where everyone is doomed to oblivion by too many different forces to list here, or you can take it as deliberately over the top, designed to deliver whatever is the most awesome. Second way I find more fun. <laughs> Of course, this does leave out a notable faction in that the Tyranids do not use any form of money at all because they're a hive mind. Which just makes me imagine someone wearing a t-shirt with a bioform on it, and it just says, uh... <laughs> it just says, ABOLISH CURRENCY! JOIN THE SWARM! Well, since I'm starting at the bottom, I think I'll work on this. Oh, I did want to show you guys something! I was looking at the achievements, and, uh... Yeah, uh, Power Wash Simulator has a bunch of optional achievements for doing, like, things that do not come naturally. Most for the most part, there are some of the ones for the uh, the DLC. We march for Macrog in the Land Raider job. Complete the Ultramarines 2 plaque first. So clean off the plaque for their name before you clean anything else. Uh, Astra Mil Militarum's secret weapon in the Rogal Dorn battle tank job. Complete the stowed shovel first. Oh, and I think that is actually a picture of a Kriegsman there. They're really known for digging trenches. You know, because Kriegs, uh, the, the, the Kriegsmen specifically are the ones who are all inspired by World War I aesthetics, so gas masks and trenches. Uh, the Emperor protects. In the Imperial Knight Paladin job, complete the Tilt Shield and Tilt Shield Purity Seals first. And descend into shadow, rise into light. In the Thunderhawk job, complete the Retro th Thrusters first. There's also some silly things there, like in the playground level I mentioned earlier. Uh, apparently you can get an achievement by rolling the soccer ball up the slide shaped like a stegosaurus. Stego goal. Let's get this front landing foot while we're at it. Oh, one of the ones I didn't quite get. Where it was like, you know, do this entire level using only the 15-degree nozzle. 
well, this yellow one I'm almost constantly using is the 15 degree nozzle, and I feel like I could probably do that. I did, I do have to admit, I thought it was really funny that there was a level, uh, an achievement for the, like, main campaign level where I briefly cleaned a penny farthing bike, one of the really old timey ones with a giant wheel in the front and a tiny wheel in the back. If you stand on top of it for like 10 or 15 seconds, I don't remember which, you get an achievement called Excellent Balance. That's a problem. Ah! I sort of stand in the trench. This works. Yeah, these things. Okay, these little things here. I wonder how many of them there are. Actually, I can I can just check that. Uh, too far. Retro thruster zero out of sixteen. Okay, that's a bit more <clears throat> involved than just cleaning off the fucking shovel first. Belched just then. That would have been very embarrassing. Just sort of snuck up on me. Managed to uh, hold myself together there. Oh yeah, that's why I can't stand up. No, duh. Jesus. Although to be fair, it would probably make a really funny sound as I'm probably my skull is probably made of metal at this point. No, 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 no. They kind of keep that, don't they? Huh. Actually, I was watching some footage of a game called Hell Divers 2 and. One of the enemy factions is called the Automatons, and it's just a, uh, you know, robot uprising. But I thought it was really funny that all the robots had human skulls on them, because I thought to myself, it kind of looks like the end point of, uh, the Mechanicus. years ago about the Terminator series, where, uh, even though Skynet doesn't feel anything, it has a perfect understanding of, uh, human psychology, because that can be used against us. So it's actually surprisingly good at manipulating people. Fuck, I can't actually reach that angle, like, at all. I will have to clean off the rest of it and hope for the best. I hope the rest of it gets covered up by the ding. What is this? Oh, it's this edge here. It's too close to the gun. I say gun, but you know. Well, he'd probably call it a water gun in this universe. Everything is a fucking weapon. Actually, no. No, no, no. Uh, Mechanicus guy would, sorry, a tech priest, a e engine seer even, <laughs> I forgot about the promotion, would uh, probably use the uh, official term every single time, as I understand it. The fuck? Ah! Damn you! Oh, good. Oh, the inner bits! How the hell am I gonna do that? Like, legit. Oh, good. We're up to four whole percent. Look at these hydraulics here. Can we not just stand this thing up more? Oh, 
That's not even the same thing. Shit. Stupid front landing piston instead of front landing foot. Oh my god, there's so much gunk in here I can't get to. Yeah, this is new. Usually it's just really awkward. This seems to be... Some of that seems to be impossible. Ooh, ooh, extensions, extensions. That's gotta be the solution. Aha! Take that, you fucker! No one escapes Brother Power Wash! I'll see you in hell, filth. Hmm. Probably not the first time someone in this universe has said that sentence. Hmm. Almost. The smears almost look like it says USA. Almost. But that would be very weird here, since, again, with no, like, you know, shade meant here, uh, the people of the 41st century don't know that the, the United States of America was a thing that ever existed. Well, the Perpetuals might remember. Some of the people in this universe are immortal. Well, not exactly immortal. They die all the time and come back. That's why they're called Perpetuals. Now, what's interesting is that only one of the Primarchs is like that, uh, Vulcan. And that, uh, most of the Perpetuals are just ordinary-ass humans. I feel the need to clean off this Laz Cannon for some reason. Maybe we're about to be attacked. slightly smaller than the battle cannon on the other thing, but I do want to point out that it is that the battle cannon was sticking way out on the uh, knight's profile, whereas this is just one of, like, a dozen weapons that are, and that one's bigger, and <laughs> jeez. Like, this absolutely could have been the main weapon on, uh, you know, on that tank we faced, or face we cleaned earlier. Oh, that's a problem. One I can solve! God damn it. Oh, shit! Please tell me it wasn't telling me I could do that over here. Please, please, please. No. Okay, I feel better. I feel better about that. I was going to be really embarrassed. I've never actually seen a level in power... For the love of God, Burning Dog Face. This is not Powerpuff Girls, and the fact that you even almost said that is embarrassing. <laughs> uh, like, I didn't even watch that show, man! Why is that what came to mind? And I don't have anything against it, it's just... I'm baffled that of all the references my mind could have made. But yeah, there is totally a, uh, an interface button here, down on the D-pad, lift attack wing. Okay. Want to put that back? Get my longest extension out. Clean the underside of the gun from way down here. This feels silly. I have 
no doubt that that thing would happily crush me if it uh, could. Oh, I can't lift it up while I'm standing on it. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm actually higher up than the uh, rear stabilizer with a thing now. Don't use that when I'm right up in its grill. I distracted myself from what I was actually going to say earlier, didn't I? Shit. Oh yeah, I was about to say, yeah, that... I don't think any of the other uh, power wash simulator levels had, like, moving bits in them or parts I could adjust. Actually, I have heard of one that I don't think I've gotten to yet. Apparently one of the levels has a, uh, a merry-go-round you can turn on and off, because there's an achievement for cleaning the entire merry-go-round without turning it off. You know, one of those silly ones I was just mentioning earlier. Oh, that's that down there that I'm seeing. something. I don't know what it is, because that chunk won't go away. And all I see is scraps. Ah! Dirt shall escape my sight. Man. Yeah, yeah, it's the end of the barrel. Where the fuck do I stand to get that? I don't suppose I can put a ladder right up against it. I doubt it since it can move, but... Oh god, no, 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 not the scaffolding. Ah, uh, shit. Yeah, maybe I'll just, we'll just use the scaffolding and put that over here. that. Will the little one work over here? The little one, he says. It's as big as uh, any I've gotten in the main game. I think it'll just do. Ah! Laz Cannon cleaned! Hold that up in the air and show everyone. Okay. 
this all back here and get this lower vertical stabilizer. Since we are apparently trying to work up when we are not working on uh, those things. Soap had no effect on this gunk. I kind of hate that. All right, all right, but we can get it. This will be strong enough. It'll try this. Nice and slow. Just scroll from one side over to the other. I couldn't even tell that was red before. I thought it was blue underneath. Well, of course it's red. It's the fucking... Never mind. Duh. The clue's in the name. Yeah, I was surprised earlier when the, uh, when the... when the Dreadnought wasn't red, that's right, yeah. Also part of the lower ver uh, lower stable stabilizer. That's the engine. Lower vertical stabilizer tip. That's good. There we go. Well, I think I've officially gotten everything touching the ground, so that's nice. And one of the lasers. I thought that might have been a name. I don't know, it's big. I get that it's just a gunship, but it seems big enough that you'd think it would have a name. Well, other than, you know, Thunderhawk, I mean. Until next time, I'm Burning Dogface, and I will see you uh, on Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. When we work on this Thunderhawk, and uh, let the Blood Angel's glory shine through all this gunk. Till next time, have yourselves a great day, Burning Dog fans. Later! <laughs>